Welcome everybody to the Meadowlands home of the NFC champion New York Giants who are inside the practice facility getting ready right now for Super Bowl 46 someplace nobody thought they would be a month ago probably even a few people in that building but they persevered they kept going and after an epic win in overtime over the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC championship game here they are getting ready for Super Bowl 46 a rematch of Super Bowl 42 with the New England Patriots. Now they've got a bunch of guys in that room who have been here before. Tom Coughlin obviously has been here before and so is his coaching staff. So they know how to get this team prepared and that's the focus of this week. Getting them ready, getting them focused on the business, which is all that really matters despite all the hype. Uh, we have some players in, in, on our team that have, that have uh, lost a Super Bowl game and, and we will draw on those experiences. We have uh, guys that are playing in it for the first time and we have guys who have uh, have won it just a few short years ago, um, suffered a little bit in between those games and knows, know the importance of uh, uh, and the excitement that goes along with being in the, in the playoffs and in the tournament. And to be able to come down to where when we presented it this morning, it's, and now there are two. Well, there's going to be a lot of great storylines coming out of this game the next two weeks. And one big one that you'll hear over and over again is about the quarterbacks. We all remember back in August when Eli Manning said he was an elite quarterback in Tom Brady's class. And now he's got a game against Tom Brady for a championship to prove that he's really in his class. And really, this game is going to be a lot about Eli Manning's legacy because I think by now he's proven how good he really is. But a second Super Bowl ring puts him in the upper echelon, maybe even puts him in the Hall of Fame. And that's a lot to think about for a quarterback that a month ago even some people weren't sure was as great as he's turned out to be. We go out, we got, we got one game, and, and you really think about going out there and just playing your best game of the year. That, that's the mindset. That's the focus you want to have. When you start thinking about you know, other things or what this might mean, that, that's when you know, you're, you're really distracted uh, on what your job has to be. Well, if you're looking for the breakout media star of Super Bowl 46, look no further than Victor Cruz, the second year sensation for the Giants, who's rewritten the receiving record books here, coming out of absolute nowhere. We talked to him a little bit about that today, about how back in the lockout, back in the spring, he was surprised he even got a call from Eli Manning to show up at his workouts at Hoboken High School. Now, Eli Manning wouldn't go anywhere without Victor Cruz. This has been a remarkable, remarkable story, and he is seriously enjoying this ride. It's starting to hit me a little bit now. It's starting to hit me that, uh, you know, once I, I spoke to uh, my friend Mike Adams, he's from he's out of Patterson, he plays for the Cleveland Browns, and I speak to him all the time, and he told me, man, I, I, I played this game about 11 years now, and, and I haven't even made it to the postseason. So I'm like, man. You know, that, that really says a lot of how fortunate I am, how fortunate I am just to be here. And, um, you know, for a guy like that who, who's done his, uh, he was, who's paid his dues in his league and hasn't even made it to the postseason, it's, it's definitely tough, man. It shows you how, how tough this league is and how, and how hard it is to win each and every week. So I'm just, um, I'm just a fortunate guy, and, and um, you know, it's, it's really starting to sink in of how, how rare my story is and how far I've come. Okay, well, that's just the beginning of the story of Super Bowl 46. We've got a lot more to do. The Daily News will be out in Indianapolis on Sunday. We're going to have lots of blog reports for you, lots of video reports as well. Make sure you're following at the blue screen on Twitter. And stay tuned right here for the absolute best Giants coverage in town. Thanks for watching, everybody.